Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can show Krosta notification whenever you add something or deleted something in Laravel. So for it, we're going to install a package in our Laravel project in order to show the Krosta notification. And in order to install the package, we need to run this command composer required PSP flasher flasher toaster Laravel. So we'll copy this command and after that we will go to our project directory, we will go to our Laravel project, open a command prompt here, we will say cmd. Then here we are going to paste the command, composer record, esc flasher, flasher toaster laravel, then press enter. So it will install some packages in our Laravel project, so it will take like 30 seconds to install. So I will just fast forward the video. So here you can see the installation is done, so after it we will go back. And here, let me also copy this command. Composer record PHP flasher, flasher toaster symphony. And I'll also paste the command over here. Then press enter. And it will install some more required packages. So again, I will just fast forward the video. So this command is also done. So after it, you can just close your command prompt. So right now, in order to show the toaster messages over here, what we need to do is really simple. We just need to say toaster at success, whatever. So let me just copy this. And after it, I'm going to go to my code editor. And here you can see admin controller. And over here, I am uploading the category data uh, from here. So right now, what we'll do is that before data redirect back, we will paste this toaster at success. We'll say here category added successfully we say cat category added successfully right now save it and after it we don't have to do anything in our blade file so after it if we just refresh here then let's say over here books then we click over here add category and there you can see it is showing us the post time message over here and after a few seconds it will just disappear so right now let's say you want to have a close button for the message so for it what you need to do is you need to write close button like this so let me just copy this and right now we'll go back to the end pin controller and here after this toaster we're going to say here close button this arrow sign close button to fast bracket like this if we now save it then if we now refresh here let's say this time in a Shroning and click on add category and there you can see this time we have a close button right now if you click on close button it will be removed so right now let's say you want to show the success message uh, for like 10 seconds so for it what you can do is here after the close button we can give this arrow sign then i am going to say here time out and in this let's say uh, we say 5000 if you say 5000 it means Five second and O will be capital and let's say instead of success you can say here earning or you can also say info let me just show you let's say here earning save it then let's go back to the browser refresh here and let's say here this time let's just say here plastic and uh, click on add category and there you can see it is showing us different site right now and it okay it lasted only like two three seconds i think timeout needs to be at the beginning timeouts needs to be at the beginning let's say here ten thousand save refresh uh let's say a b c then click add category and there you can see it will last for 10 seconds but if we just take our cursor it will uh, finish sooner let me just show you again let's say b P N click on add category and there you can see it is moving slowly but at the moment we take our cursor over here it will move fast okay so instead of uh warning we will say here success you can also use danger or info so we say here success save it then refresh here and we are going to say this time mobile so click on add category and there you can see it. so we can also close this as well so this is how we can show toaster message with progress bar in laravel if you have any question any problem or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section 
make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials